Okay, let's go live. It's James speaking, TradingSuits.io. Uh, Notebook LM from Google just came out with a really cool new feature. It allows you to ask for research or deep research. And this is especially important because in the past, anytime you were using go, uh, Notebook from Google, you basically had to do the research. So you had to add your documents. You had to add your PDFs. You had to add the YouTube videos. You basically gave it the content and then that was in your notebook and then you could make prompts or ask Gemini about what was in the the, uh, the research that you added. The cool thing is of course is now what they've done in the latest version is it'll do the research for you. So the question becomes well what do I get it to research? What kind of stuff do I give it to research? Where should it research? And in fact that's a special hack that I want to show you today because the training sites topical authority map prompts, the couple prompts that uh, we teach people when they're starting building your own education business, the content that you get from that topical authority map works perfectly with notebook and it allows you to streamline that process of creating your course content, the syllabus, even the curriculum of all of the things that you teach. It's just a drop dead simple way to put it all together. So what I want to do today is I want to show you seven special prompts at the end that allow you to do that within Notebook. And I also want to show you the simple hack that takes your topical authority map, which will actually create one step of it, plug it into Notebook and get all of this research done for you. So this is how it works. And in fact, this is why I came up with it uh, because We'll open this one up here. One of the things I have is uh, in the trainingsites.io campus, one of the first, actually the first course that I ask you to take or the first program is a 10 step campus map. And step number two is all about making sure that you understand what your topic is and all of the relevant subtopics and pillars of your topic. And the reason you want to do this is because you want to have a really clear picture of what your campus or your education business is about. I'm not talking about a niche course. I'm talking about the big picture. You have a learning community. What is that learning community about? One course or is it about a topic? So the question is, where does that topic come from? How do I create it? What are the different pieces of it? And in fact, that's one of the questions that one of the members had when they were going over this course. And they have a, a real love for Notebook LM, which I'll explain why it's a good idea in, in a minute. But they were trying to figure out, well, where does this topical authority map fit into my notebook where I'm organizing all of my content in order to do the research and do the stuff for creating the courses? And they do ADHD, which is uh, obviously a technical topic that I have no idea what it's about, how it works, but I'm going to use it as an example to show you how powerful the topical authority map is in fine tuning broad topics and making sure that you can answer questions that are important to your particular market or the people you're trying to help. And then secondly, so we can actually go through and show you how creating the topical authority map with only two or three prompts really gets you clear on what your campus and your business education business is about. And again, all of the links that I'm going to show you are available. They're free as part of uh, the uh, trainingsites.io uh, community, which I'd love you to join. All you have to do is go to the URL that's below there. Like and subscribe to the channel, go to the URL, you can be part of the community, it's free, as well as all of this content that I talk about uh, on YouTube. So here's kind of the gist here. I'm uh, in the notes here and they were talking about, you know, creating the topical authority map. And what I did is I just went and said, okay, well, we better go and click and take a look at the prompts for creating the map. And, and I've got this a little bit bigger, hopefully, so you can see it. And actually, I'll, I'll move myself to the other side here. This is the way that this works. Basically, what you're going to do is this is to understand and identify your marketing message, content, and course ideas. This is not a niche. I don't want you to pick a niche. I want you to pick a topic that you want to become an authority in, but you're an expert in one particular area, category, or pillar, or subtopic. So... We're going to define the core topic. That's step number one. We're going to generate 10 variations per subtopic. And then I'm going to show you how to use one of those subtopics and get Notebook LM to do all of the research for it and actually build out your course curriculums, uh, your syllabus for courses, anything that you want to do because you're using Gemini 3 
but based on all of the research that it's done about the specific parts that you've come up with in the topical authority map. So I'm just going to do these first steps. And the reason that this came about, of course, was in that step two of the campus marketing um, uh, map, it's all about that one 525 or 11025. I've got the example here of 30. We're just going to take this prompt here and I'm going to put it into Google Gemini. Got a brand new uh, thing here. This is Google Gemini. And right now I'm just going to use the fast model. I'm not going to use the pro one. And I'm just in my, uh, again, this is cutting and pasting word for word the prompt. I'll go over it. So you know what it is. It says, I want to create a topical authority map. My core topic is ADHD. Please give me 30 semantically relevant but unique subtopics or content pillars. Under this topic, this should be useful for course lessons, community discussion areas, and workshop content. Now, the thing is, when I, I the topical authority map comes from the search engine optimization industry. And they were doing this to try and figure out what are all of the related keyword searches or phrases or things that people are looking for based on a keyword or a keyword phrase? They want to have a really big picture of all of the different areas so they can target it with their content to rank highly. I'm looking at this and say, well, what are the different topics that someone are looking at uh, or subtopics are looking at in a big topic so I can create courses, lessons, discussion items around it? I asked for 30. You can have as many as you want or as little as you want. I'm just doing 30 for this example. I'm just going to say, uh, keep your responses to a grade eight level. And I'm just adding that because ADHD can be obviously a pretty technical term. I'm not an expert in it. I want to be able to understand it. And I'm just going to go and I'm going to go and click submit. And what's going to happen now is that Gemini 3 is going to go through these things and it's going to pick out 30 subtopics and it should put it into pillars. And there it did. Understanding ADHD, the basics, living with ADHD, daily challenges, coping skills, community and relationships, diagnosis and treatment. So it came up with 30 subtopics and it came up with five uh, or six different pillars that are there. Or five pillars. So again, this is the big picture. If you're an expert on it, maybe you're only one pillar that's here. For example, community and relationships. Maybe it's about diagnosis and treatment. Maybe it's about all of them. Um, you know, one of the things that, uh, where's one here? Here's one about community and relationships. Maybe that's the area that you want to focus on. Uh, I'm doing this one here. We'll do family support, which is a subtopic. And I'm sure for family support, there's a whole bunch of different areas, right? Well, why don't we go to that second prompt, which said, uh, for the top subtopic, give me 10 useful variations or angles I could use to create lesson content, discussion prompts, or workshop sessions. They should each require a unique facet, challenge, stage, or use case within the subtopic. So I'm going to copy this one. We'll put it in again, and I'm going to put it in here. And I'm just going to say family support for uh, uh, members with ADHD. And I'm going to ask for these variations. So basically what I'm asking it to do now is, look, family support's a big thing. I want to maybe create a course. I want to research. I want to focus on that part of ADHD. So what are the different angles that come up? So we've got focus on challenging forget versus meltdown, symptoms of ADHD. They've came up with these variations of it. Angle, setting up a home environment, uh, for the support for the non-ADHD sibling, how to use language, crisis management, and meltdowns. All of these different ones. So this is just a really good example. We've got 10 really solid things that we could create a course or a lesson or a work plan out of. What do we do with this now? Well, let's go to Notebook LM and get it to do the research because Notebook LM is a wonderful place for organizing our thoughts, the research, and being able to only use AI to reference what is in our research notebook. So let's do this one here. We're going to do... Um, 
Here's an interesting one. So we're going to do consistent disciplines and rewards. And there we go. Let's, uh, that one sounds interesting. Again, I'm not an expert on this at all. So let's just go to Notebook LM. And in my case, I'm going to do a new notebook. And when I do no notebook, I'm creating one for ADHD. This example comes up at the start. And normally, this is what used to happen, is you used to have your documents and put them up. You used to have links to uh, YouTube videos that you found and put them up. You copied and pasted and put them up. You can still do that if you've done a whole bunch of research. But in my case, I haven't. And I found some areas in my topical authority map that I want to cover that I haven't done research on. So I'm going to click Discover Sources. And you'll notice now on the left-hand side, Notebook LM has the ability to do deep research. And there's two kinds of deep research it can do. And this is really important because the default one is web, but you'll notice there's one that's Drive. I don't know about you, but me now, I have thousands of documents in Google Drive. It would be nice to not have me remember or properly name and organize that content, but just be able to research the topic I'm going to put in for the search, what I want to search on, on Drive. But in my case, I'm going to go and look for new content, and I can select fast research or deep research, where it actually gives me an in-depth report. I don't want the report. I just want some quick results. In this case, I'm going to get 10 external resources that I can include as reference documents when I'm building out my course lessons and all of the other material that I need in this notebook for something that I'm going to present for educational content. So for me, I'm going to search the web for new sources and I'm going to put in developing clear, immediate and consistent consequences or rewards um, which are effective for children, children uh, with ADHD, and we'll leave there. And I don't want to put this piece in. Again, this is the part I was talking about, keep it at a grade eight, grade eight level. You can always massage these, but the fact is that we've picked out one particular topic, which is consistent consequences or rewards. So I'm just going to get rid of that last part fast research, and we're going to pick it up. Now, here's the cool part. I'm not doing this research. I'm only using one of the 30 that I came up with, and I asked for 10. So that's 300 different options that are available. I used one, and it came up with, in this case, we've got, I'll just minimize this so it's a little bit bigger. We've now got 30 or 10 reference documents from third parties that we can actually go and take a look at and reference them in the chat that we're having. So uh, here's one here, Behavior Motivate Kids. If I want to go and look at it, all I have to do is do the click button. It opens up in another tab. And if I don't like it, I just don't want to do uh, this one here. I just remove it. This one here, um, here's one here I don't like. I'm just going to move that one. And when I'm ready, I can import them. And it's going to bring eight of these reference documents into the sources that I'm going to select from. Now, here's the best part. Depending on whether you have a free uh, Google account or a paid Google account, I believe you can put up to 50 sources in and the free account and 300, I think, in the paid accounts. But I can certainly go and do that exact same thing again, right? I'm not limited to these 10. So I can go back to my topical authority map that I was just building out, and I can do one on homework in school. We'll do that one here. I'm going to copy that one because it's somewhat related. I'm going to go put that one in, and we're just going to do another one uh, for creating rewards and consequences to help children in the classroom. So there's another one. We're going to pull it up, have it do the research. So get the idea here. We can do five different ones if we wanted here. And at the end of the day, we have an absolute gold mine of research to go over that isn't even our ours. We can combine ours at any time. I can just go click add sources and have it go through. 
Here's seven more. We've got PDFs, web pages, all sorts of stuff that's there. I'm going to go and select all the sources and import it. So now I've got 18 sources. I can go add my own, but I got a great background that's available to me. So what do I want to do with this? Well, Notebook, if you remember correctly, and again, I've got these additional videos within the campus on how it all works, but big picture here is that I got all this research material. What do I put in now? Because I want to create a course. I'm going to create a lesson plan, that kind of thing. Well, here's some prompts you can take directly. I did these ones up so that you have them. Uh, and again, these ones will be there. Let me just do uh, this one here, which is a simple one. So sequencing question, a question you can use to sequence some content. I'm just going to go and in the chat, notice actually in the bottom here, maybe I can make this a little bit bigger. What are the most effective evidence-based strategies for parenting? It comes up with some suggestions, but my question is, or what I want it now to do is I'm asking Gemini 3 to, I'm giving it a prompt, but it's based on the research that was done. It's not going out to the web for other research. It's only using the research content that I provided for it based on the topical authority map. So based on create a logical six way flow, the order should progress from foundational beginner concepts uh, to more advanced strategies. Explain why you think uh, this is uh, for the ADHD uh, uh, area. So pull it up. Now this is Gemini 3. It's working hard in the background and it's actually gonna come up with exactly what you need to start building out your content and you have it in a notebook. Now I asked for a six week curriculum. It could be a lesson. It could be a seven part series. Doesn't really matter what you ask for. The thing that's important here is that you have a specific structure of the course based on content that you had Google notebook search for, and it's all organized in notebook as individual courses. And remember this part of notebook that we're looking at right now, this is Gemini three. It's not cutting and pasting. It's not searching a whole bunch of other places and trying to bring it in and organize it. This is just a real simple way to have everything that you need about a particular course. So, you know, here's the six week programs. Foundations, beginner advanced focus, where they fit in. All you have to do is change the prompt to specify it to yourself, but you've now got everything put together and it is based on a topical authority map. You're not all over the place. You have a set plan and looking at that topical authority map as a big flywheel on what it is that you're actually providing in terms of a transformation for people. This is an exciting time using all of these AI tools. This is just a simple hack of how to use a topical authority map and notebook LM using the brand new deep research and research tools. My name is James, it's trainingsites.io. Hope you enjoyed this. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and go to trainingsites.io and join. This is uh, more of better stuff coming. It's happening all the time and I'm really sure to, uh, really excited to share it with you. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Take care and expect the best.